Hello all again. I have created a tea for the week for myself if y'all want to try it as well. Um, I'm doing it for more, it's more for a strengthening of either friendship, romance, uh, maybe even lustual. I'm not really lustual, but it's going to be more for a romance uh, and strengthening like a relationship. So, as said before, I used cloves in this because it's my um, herb of the week. So this is the tea right here. So I will let you all know what I put in it. I put, so what I do is I will take the herb of choice and put it into one of my many little jars I have. Um, cloves first. So I put one for prosperity, one for luck, one for passion, and one for lust to build that strength up. Uh, I added one star anise, uh, and this has like five points, so it's like a star. So again, I used each point for protection, hopes and dreams, and higher mind. Uh, I then put three rosebuds in. Uh, so I put one for love, attraction, and healing, strengthening that relationship. Then I put St. John's wort in there, uh, this is more for health, strength, happiness, well-being, protection, and love. I think I put a pinch for each of those in there as well. So I'll do something like, uh, pinch health, pinch strength, pinch happiness. No, they don't have to be huge pinches because, again, you don't want something to, like, overpower it. Uh, this is going to be more lavender because the last thing I put in it was lavender. And I don't have my jar yet for this because I ordered it offline on Etsy in a really cute little jar that looks like this so this should be my refillable stuff so i put a pinch for love pinch for attraction protection fast money and mental powers i don't know why i put fast money in there but i said fast money and after i did it, i was like uh oh too late so that's in there too uh i am going to go brew this right now and i will let you all know the process of this as well so let's do this journey together so I have put the teapot on, it is going to go. I let it go until I see it actually boiling and then I drop the tea in here, which will come next. But you know what, let's just do that now. Let's open this up, make all kinds of noises, you know, get this in here. So I'll pour it in here. Okay, it is all in there. You're gonna love this. I'm also using my Ethne mug, you know, which is give no fucks. And then I'm going to add sugar in here to uh, two tablespoons uh, because sugar, little known fact, is if you're gonna drink the sugar, you're getting bitterness away from you. If you are being bitter towards someone, the best thing you can do is burn sugar. So if you do not know that, Fun fact. Our tea is boiling now, so we can just turn off the stove. Next thing, lift up the top. So next, it's just steep the tea. So I dip it in there slowly because it does boil. And then as it goes in there, you'll see it steep. Good thing to know is you wanna let tea steep for anywhere from three to five minutes. I usually let it steep longer sometimes because um, the longer you steep it, the more energy it has, the more powerful the tea can be. So I usually at least steep mine for five minutes. Sorry, my stove's a mess I cooked last night and forgot to clean up. Shame on me. So I'm going to let this steep for five minutes at least, or even until you feel right. Like, if, like you're sitting there and the tea's saying, you know what, I'm done. Then stop steeping, start pouring. I have steeped it for five minutes and it looks like this now. Uh, so I'm going to pour, and then we're going to give it a taste test. Okay, I am back with my tea, and it smells amazing. Um, I can't describe the smell. I know I can smell the lavender in it, because there's a lot of lavender in it. Um, so what I do next is I focus all my energy on the tea, and I pretend like it's a birthday candle, and I blow on it before I take the first sip with what, my, what I want my intentions to be for the tea. And uh, usually it works out pretty well for me. So let's give that a go.
It's got like a chai latte kind of like spiciness to it. I like it. It's sweet obviously because of the sugar, but you can taste the lavender. You can definitely taste the cloves, which make, brings that spice into it. And I love that. Um, I'm definitely be making this again and putting it in my herb journal. So this is going to be a tea. I think I'm going to call it the Love Prosperity Potion. The LPP. Yeah, you know me. So hope you all get to brewing. Hope you all like your brewing. I'm going to give this a little go. Again, Ethany, love this cup. Thank you for making it. That is some good stuff. So hope you all have a wonderful day. Blessed be. And uh, have fun brewing, witches.